week continues here in Pennsylvania and for first warning weather as well. So uh, today we'll talk about a really big issue here. That is a uh, flash flooding and flood warnings or flash adv uh, flood advisories should be taking a uh, very serious. But if we see a flash flood warning uh, issue, that means flooding is happening or will soon happen, especially near creeks, streams, viaducts that tend to get plugged on up, especially with uh, some very heavy thunderstorms that roll on through the area. Here is uh, the um, what we say, turn around, don't drown. It's not a joke. It's very serious. You really should never drive through water that uh, is uh, very high, especially over the wheels. You will stall out. And some of the number one deaths uh, in flooding are those folks stuck in cars and vehicles. And remember, you only need a foot or so of water to move a motor vehicle. And if you're in the middle of that, sometimes it's very difficult, especially if the floodwaters rise uh, over the car. So I uh, you shouldn't necessarily get out of the car, but you shouldn't even go into those floodwaters as well. So you also should get the higher ground immediately. There it is. Six inches of water will wash a person away. Twelve inches of water will wash a car away. And that also includes... SUVs too, so uh, be careful of that. And also remember, don't play in the flood waters because uh, that could be a problem. Now we do have the flash flood. Here are the cautions for it. Safety tips, don't drive, don't play in it. And of course, monitor the areas of subject. But if we issue a take action on the weather impact index, we're talking about flash flood warning, don't drive, don't play in it. You shouldn't play or swim in the flood waters because they carry disease sometimes. You got sewage, you got chemicals, that could make you sick. And to be honest with you, it could kill you too, so don't do it. And uh, you should get out into a higher uh, elevation for you. And remember, Warren County, your tornado siren testing is next Thursday at 10 a.m. And we do have the risk of a marginal risk of severe weather as we head on into tomorrow. A level one, as it's called, could see an isolated storm. And our major concern will be winds 50 to 60 miles an hour. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, John.